so today I am going to do a products I regret buying video. <laughs> Collection of one, two, three, four, five products that um, I'm not trying to spread hate, but I absolutely detest. I'm not trying to tell anyone not to buy any of these products because obviously that's not my job. <laughs> Basically, I just want to tell you what they were supposed to do and what they did not do for me. <laughs> um, these could totally work for you and you could love them. A lot of these things I bought because people loved them so much and then I bought them and ended up absolutely hating them. So I mean, different things work for different people. So I'm just gonna jump right into it and start with the first product. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is this Argan Oil hair product. This is by, oh, this is by OGX, Beauty Pure and Simple. They make a lot of shampoos and conditioners, which I really like. I used the Agadir brand of argan oil and I ran out and I was out on vacation and I needed some argan oil because I'm addicted to it for my hair. Um, so I got this, this is the only one I could find and not a fan. This one is completely different than every other argan oil hair treatment I have tried. This one is extremely, extremely thick. It's kind of like honey and I find that it pretty much just makes my hair oily. I have such thick hair, it is extremely hard to make my hair noticeably oily. Even if I just run it through the ends, which is pretty much what I always do. I've noticed a massive difference in like the ends of my hair since I started using this instead of the other one I was using. Um, they're extremely um, dry in comparison. They're kind of brittle, so I'll probably end up just like giving this to someone to try and repurchasing my other one because it's just not working for me. The next thing I'm gonna talk about was, to be fair, I did not buy this, but I got it as a like free gift when I bought uh, like my mascara Estee Lauder. And I tried it and I have never broken out in a rash so quickly. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser and Purifying Mask. Um, I really liked it while I was using it. It was very um, like fresh smelling and it foamed up really quickly and it made my uh, face feel really clean and when I rinsed it off, it like immediately came off. There wasn't any like soapy residue, it just came off like that. Um, within three minutes, my entire face had a rash on it and it was just on fire. I'm not entirely sure what is in this that did that to me because it says it's for normal to combination skin and I have combination skin. Um, I do have sensitive skin but not usually that sensitive. <laughs> it's not perfumey or anything so I genuinely have no idea what it was about this that broke me out but it um, took me like 15 minutes of like cold bags of peas on my face <laughs> to get the uh, inflammation down so um, I would not purchase this. I was kind of hoping to have found a new face wash, but not so. The next three I have are makeup products. The first one I have is a bronzer, and this is the Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light. There's a specific name for like the uh, like line of these. I don't remember what it is, but it's like this little adorable packaging. It opens like a little door and window, and it has this little bow. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. They released all of these products. Um, they released like the concealers and the bronzers and like everything else in this line that's all in this adorable packaging and it was so cute, that's why I bought it. <laughs> it's not a terrible product, but I mean, I got it in light because I'm really, really fair skinned and I could tell by the other shades that they would be way too like orange in tone and dark, but this one is very, very, um, it basically has like no color payoff. You really have to work to get any color payoff out of this. So, I mean, I use it every once in a while if I'm doing like a really quick makeup look and I'm not looking to be that bronzy and I just wanna throw it on just for a little bit of something, but um, it's just, really probably not worth it. Like I wouldn't repurchase it. I'll probably keep it and like keep using it on occasion just, you know, like I said, for quick kind of makeup looks, but it's really not something I would say is worth the money. Plus it has this little section right here that's basically just entirely gold shimmer and it's not cute. It's really chunky and I don't like it. The next two products I have left 
are probably what I'm going to say are my least favorite makeup products I have ever used. Ever. And these are also two things that I know people who use them and they rave about them. So I finally was like, I just have to try it because I'm probably missing out on something. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, this is the translucent one. Um, I got this because, you know, Stay Matte. Um, obviously a lot of other YouTube gurus uh, use it and really, really like it. A lot of people I know use it and really like it. Um, Stay Matte, you know, I really like a matte finish. So I was like, why not try it? It's really cheap. It would be a really good thing to find so that I don't have to keep spending so much money on my high-end products. Not only is this not Stay Matte, but I've never gotten oilier from anything in my life. I absolutely hate this. I've, I've used it twice. I used it once the when I first got it. I hated it. I threw it in my drawer for probably like a year. Refound it. It was like, oh, maybe I'll like it more now. I still hate it. I would never ever buy this again. I would never recommend it to anybody. Um, I just don't like it at all. I know, like I said, I know a lot of other people do, but this does absolutely nothing for me. It doesn't keep me mad. It doesn't keep my makeup in place. It doesn't set anything. I just, no. The final product that I have is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation. Um, I bought this, my roommate uses it and really likes it, and it looks really, really good on her face when she wears it. Um, I had never tried it, but she used it all the time, she swore by it, she loves it. So I finally picked it up the other day, and actually this morning was the first time I tried it, and I can't put into words how horrid this looked. I freaking used three different primers three different times trying to get this to work and it is absolutely horrible. I tried putting it on with a beauty blender, I tried putting it on with two different kinds of brushes, I tried putting it on with my fingers. It's horrible. I hate it. It is so like I don't know if it's just like the formula is not meant for my face but it looked absolutely disgusting on me. Like it just looked like this mess of crap sitting on my face. It was horrible. But like I said, my roommate uses it and when she uses it, her face just looks gorgeous. So like I said, everything is different for everyone, but this was not, this was not a good product for me at all. So anyway, that's it for this video. That's all the products that I regret buying. I'm sure there will be more in the future. <laughs> like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what else you want to see from me, and I will see you guys later. Bye.